Take it in, ladies and gentlemen. This is the long dark. Someone's in that cabin. There's smoke coming out from the chimney. There's a hunting rifle and a backpack and a shovel in the front of the house. It's not really a very good place to keep your stuff. However, this is the long... Fuck, there's a wolf. Look, there's a little wolf over there. This is the... Hey, buddy. Anyway, this is the long dark. This is a su pure survival game. Finally, fucking a game that doesn't have zombies or a little naked tribes people trying to kill you like the forest this is basically what i wanted i want a game where i can run about collecting wood and stuff making fires and uh eating oh it's coming back oh maybe it went the wrong way it's like oh it's going that way but fuck it there's nothing over there and you could just come and eat all the shit in my backpack but anyway let's start this there's no story mode but the story is that we are a a uh, bush pilot called Will McKenzie. Will McKenzie. Fucking Will McKenzie. I'm Scottish. Uh, I struggled to survive. I crashed in the wilderness after a mysterious geomagnetic disaster. What's a geomagnetic disaster? I don't know. Some kind of thing. Next, Mystery Lake. It's a lake full of mystery. No one knows what it is. However, uh... It brought my plane down in northern Canadian wilderness. A Scottish man in the, the Canadian wilderness just trying to survive. Before we go, however, I think it's important that we sit down and read this quote. Okay? It is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent that survives. It is the one that is the most adaptable to change. Now there's Charles Darwin laying some sweet fucking knowledge on us that will help us survive here. He's saying, number one, we don't need to be... F the fuck? Did it spawn me at night? Holy shit, look at these stars. Um, excuse me, game. How am I... How in the fuck am I supposed to survive at night when I can't see shit? The wolves are just gonna come out of the... of the tree lines. I can't... I can't even... God, this is... You know, I was going to make a, a big series on this, but I'm probably not even going to survive five minutes. Right now that I, uh, apparently it spawns a random, you spawn in a random place at a random time, which kind of sucks that um, this happened. Look, stars again. I love looking at stars and constellations. As you can see, what the fuck is that? Is that a... Hmm. Okay. Here's the constellation of the shovel. It's a big long stick like this and the, sh the shovel's in there. Survi the survival shovel. Over here we have um, the pickaxe or the scythe like that. And there is a triangle constellation. That is the nipple. The giant nipple constellation and Oh my god, it's Orion's belt. No, it's not. I don't need... Fuck. Where's I going? I was going this way. Oh! What is this? There's a silhouette of something here. Oh my god. The fucking wolves are behind me already. Logging camp. If only I could fucking see... The logging camp. Everything is just darkness. Okay, here is... A house. Of some sort. I can't see... I can't find the fucking door. So Charles Darwin laid some sweet knowledge on us saying that we don't have to be strong we don't have to be um, smart we just have to be adaptable to change and right now I have to be adaptable to the darkness I've 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 this game is not meant to be scary but the wolf is gonna jump out and eat the shit out of me isn't it I've lost the logging camp already god damn it God damn it, the long dark. How long is the darkness? Oh, here we go. Well, I survived for 45 minutes. That's not too bad. However, I'm cold as shit. You can hear me shivering. I'm hungry, slightly, I guess. Snow shelter. Oh shit, do I have st stuff? I'm oh, gonna have a bedroll. Uh, let's rest for... Yes, let's rest until... <laughs> we're so gonna die we're gonna die right now great 
Okay. Okay, eaten by a wolf. Get off me! God, get the fuck out of here! Ah! Boof! Suck my asshole. I think it has killed a wolf. I can't see, however, because it's still dark. <sighs> well, let's fuck. We're cold as shit because we slept in. Of course we're cold. I mean, I mean, what, what did I expect? I'm not ready to die. Uh, neither am I. But I did survive for six hours, which is not bad. Okay, everyone, calm down. What I'm gonna do is restart. Okay. I know all of you are like, I wanted to watch a video of someone who actually knew what the fuck they're doing. Well, he came to the wrong place. He came to the, oh my god, motion blur, or is that me just freezing my balls off? Condition is at 5%, I'm about to die. Goodbye, cruel world. You are so cruel. A fucking wolf ate me while I was sleeping in a bed roll. Oh shit, we can actually still survive if I manage to make it to this. Oh, I'm inside. Trailer. Oh shit. Ugh. Fucking. Duh. I need to take this ski jacket. It's got zips. I can keep all kinds of shit in here in the little zip pockets. I think they call them chest pockets. It's a top layer. Yes, let's take that and let's put it on because I am freezing. I would like to... Oh my god, look at all this stuff I have. Oh, shit, I have a bandage. Oh my god, use the bandage, please. 1% <gasps> condition. Fucking... Oh my god, quickly. Antiseptic, we need to use this also. I think I'm about to die. I faded into the lung. Well, that's... fuck that. Okay, we have some more information here. Provided by David Mamet, The Edge. You know, I once read an interesting book which said that uh, most people lost in the wilds, they die of the die of shame. Yeah, see, the die of shame. What did I do wrong? How could I have gotten myself into this? And so they sit there and they die because they didn't do the one thing that would save their lives. Thinking. <sighs> Thanks, David Mamet, for that. Every playthrough of this is going to increase my knowledge further and further. Because now, not only I think I've spawned in the same place, but it's daytime. And we're gonna fuck this bitch up. Do we know what time it is? Um, no. Oh, it's 2.25 p.m. That's not too shabby, is it? So, fucking, we need to think. We need to think. Alright, what are we gonna do? We need to think about what we're gonna, um... What can we do here? We can forage wood, harvest... What the, what can we harvest? The fuck? I'm not gonna turn any of this shit. I need it. I need to use clothes. Snow shelter. What the fuck? Oh, not available. Oh, there's a map. Oh, not available. Damn it. How am I supposed to survive without a map? So, we don't have to be smart. We don't have to be strong. But we need to think and we need to adapt. Think and adapt. Let's think and adapt to this um, place that we are in. We can eat snow, I know that. So we're not gonna... Oh shit. Oh my god, the wolf. So, one thing I uh, want to try is to try and survive longer than I did before. God damn it. We found a nice cabin, which is nice. Is that a thing over there? What's that in the distance? Is that a thing? Let's keep to the tree lines so that if we see a wolf we can cower behind the tree and maybe it won't see us or something. So I guess the wolf is the only kind of antagonist in this game. If you don't know what an antagonist means, it's just basically something that will fucking kill you. Kill the shit out of you. There's no little naked man that'll jump out from the trees and attack you. You know, no one is trying to kill you. You're just trying to survive. And this looks like a logging camp. There's lots of logs everywhere. Are these logs? They kind of look like logs. Oh fuck, there's a wolf over there. It's just chilling. I'm going this way. Oh shit. This, I need, I need to get over there. There's a thing over there, do you see it? There's a wolf in my way. It's alright, I'll go. I'll go this way, it's fine. 
You can have that area. I don't need to go there. However, clear cut. There's a sign over there. I'm gonna go towards that sign and maybe it'll tell me like, hey, uh, cool place over there you can go to. And I'll be like, cool, I'll I'll go there. There'll be camp, there'll be firewood I can use. So maybe I come here to harvest wood or something. Forage wood. Oh shit, okay. Well, never mind. I seem to be okay. I'm slightly hungry. What do I have to eat? I've... I could eat my socks if uh, worse comes to worst. Accelerant, low volume fuel source designed to. Oh, it's like a lighter fluid. Fu fluid. I can carry 30 kg. That's quite impressive. Fuck you, Darwin. I am strong. Now, keep an eye on where that wolf went. It's over there at the moment. It's wandering around like a maniac. Maniacal killer. That's what it is. This sign probably says something like falling rocks. Oh my god, that is a giant falling rock. Um, no, it has a picture of a truck on it. What I can only... I mean, that's probably the most useless sign I've ever seen in my life. It's a sign with a truck carrying wood on it. Why the fuck would anything need to know that? Is this path only for trucks with... Logs on it? What if the truck didn't have any logs on it? Fuck it. I'm going towards here because I saw something colorful which grabbed my eye. Which I think could be... I, I can't get over here. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't think I can jump. Where's that wolf? It's over there. Alright, you stay your distance. Motherfucker. It's just a sign, I think. This thing is just a sign. The sign that says, Why are you here? No, I think it's a map, which would be quite useful actually. You'd be like, welcome to our Canadian forest, which is nothing here. There's fuck, there's just trees. Uh, okay, this even more useless shit. Actually, no, there's a big arrow sign and a big giant like lookout tower with a f what the with a big tree on it. Okay. Geographic, a magical tailor-made status and plus flavor. 